Hey everyone, so I just wanted to talk about my COVID symptoms, um, or Omicron symptoms. I'm guessing that's what it is that I have. I got tested and tested positive for COVID, um, so I'm just assuming it's Omicron. Um, <coughs> so basically, the first day I got sick, I ran 102.2 fever, and I mean, I just felt awful. Like, my body was hurting so bad. Just a headache. My throat was hurting. My ears were hurting. I had such a horrible cough. I mean, it was just horrible. Um, my body was hurting so bad I could hardly walk. Like, I maxed out on Tylenol and ibuprofen that I could take. And it only got my fever to 100.3. But then it would be right back up very fast. So, the first day was really hard. It was probably the hardest so far. Um, and from there, I just have lost my voice. Um, so I got it Monday, and then Tuesday, which was yesterday, I was just feeling very out of it. Um, and then I still had like a little bit of a fever. Well, actually, yesterday morning, I woke up feeling much better. And I was like, okay, this is great. It's probably just a little cold. Um, I'm feeling much better now. But then got towards the afternoon and I just started getting sick again with like fever and just very very out of it well here we are today and I woke up drenched in sweat which this isn't the first time I've woke up drenched in sweat like I think I've done that every morning so far um literally soaking wet like that's just like the weirdest thing to me um this morning, I could not talk at all. Voice was completely gone. <laughs> it's coming a, it's coming back a little bit now, but it's still, I don't know if you can hear or not, but it's still kind of gone. Um, and I'm just, I, I felt very hot today, and I can't get myself to cool off. Like, no matter if I can turn on the air right now. I cannot make myself cool off. Um... It's like I'm having cold sweats, uh, and I'm like just very clammy, and I feel just like very, like very nauseous and ill today. Like today, I've just felt more like I have a hangover more than anything. Um, but one of my biggest symptoms so far has been like the mucus stuck, <coughs> stuck right here in my chest. And, ooh, sorry, and in my throat, and it's gotten so bad. That I literally just throw up and, and I can't I can't breathe. Like until I cough it up, I cannot breathe. Um and obviously I've been coughing. I've been coughing a good bit. Um, so I would say it feels like a, at first it feels like a sinus infection on steroids. I don't know if y'all have had sinus infections like I've had them, but they hurt. This COVID feels different than the COVID I had in 2020. In 2020, I got COVID and I lost my taste and I lost my smell and I just had body aches. It didn't what really more than that. <sighs> Sorry, I hate my ears. Anyways, the first time I had COVID in 2020, lost my taste, lost my smell, had body aches, and I was a little out of breath. <laughs> Nothing too serious. This time, I've definitely felt a lot more sick like sinusy and sick Which, honestly and truly it may have a lot to do with like the weather changing so much um rather than the virus itself and excuse the trailer it's a mess it's i mean it's just a mess um but yeah so like headache and mucus and cough and like throat my throat hurting and my ears and just my body pretty much everything hurts this go around it's it's pretty pretty miserable the first few days I would say um I think I can feel myself getting a little better hopefully um and I have been a little bit more winded like I'm out I'm a little out of breath which has to do with my stopped up nose I'm sure excuse me if I'm all over the place I am definitely feeling out of my mind like like my brain is completely scattered it feels like like I'm all over the place and my memory has been pretty horrible um so far which my memory is already horrible but it's definitely been worse since i've gotten sick um and i just found out i had it monday because sunday and all last week 
I feel fine. I mean, I felt like a little itch in my throat, but I'm like, it's just drainage from the weather. I always have drainage, but I felt fine last week, felt fine Sunday, and I woke up Monday, and then that's when I was sick. I was just sick as a dog. Um, I'm pretty sure I only have to quarantine for five days. I think that's what the nurse told me, which is weird, because I thought it used to be two weeks, but I guess everything's changing. I probably need a call to make sure, but, um, like, so far today, I haven't run fever, so that's a really good sign to me, um, had fever yesterday and Monday, but so far today, so far so good, it does get worse at night, I will say that, there's been a few times I woke up in the middle of the night, kind of really hard to breathe, I, like, it felt like kind of, kind of like I was suffocating a little bit, but I think it's from, like, being stopped up and, like, the drainage and stuff. <coughs> so, hopefully that'll be fine. I'm about to show y'all what I've been taking to try to help me get through this. I've been trying to do some natural things, some herbal things. I've been, <coughs> I've been taking medicine, of course. <coughs> Anyways, back to what I was trying to say. <coughs> I've been getting like really bad choked up on this mucus to the point I throw up. I feel like I'm going to throw up right now, but I'm trying not to throw up all the medicine. I've already take it. <coughs> okay, so I did actually just throw up. Just trying to avoid that from happening, but it gets stuck right here in my throat and it makes me start gagging. This is probably TMI. And it's so bad I cannot breathe. I can't get the air past all that mucus so I have to like I cough and then it's like starts coming up and then I just throw up so I just threw up most of my vitamins and medicine but oh well anyways that's another thing is like the puking but I'm that's just from the mucus I feel like this is super gross but I'm just trying to be real with you guys I actually can feel it building up again and it may happen again Okay, well, anyways, I've just been trying to keep all of this clear and just keep trying to feel better. I know this video is all over the place. So, um, yeah, I've had some headaches, some ear pain, some throat pain. What you gonna do when Arabella's looking at me? Yes, I still have Chloe and Emily and Arabella. Malcolm actually wasn't exposed to me yet because he spent the weekend with his Nana. So, um... He wasn't exposed, so he's just still over there, so he can try to avoid getting it. But the other kids were already around me. Okay, baby, that's fine. Um, so, and then uh, I ho I'm hoping Dustin and the these kids here don't get it, but from what I was told and the research I've done, everyone's gonna get it, vaccinated or not. So, I mean, I guess it just is. I guess it just is what it is just gotta try to take care of yourself um i don't know i'm trying to tell y'all my symptoms right now i feel very nause nauseated and i feel very just like out of it kind of dizzy yeah you can have that i don't know i feel miserable a little bit but i did just throw up so i wanted to show y'all what i'm taking so i'm gonna show y'all okay this is obviously ibuprofen and Tylenol. Been taking those two, of course. And I've been taking Zofran for nausea. And then Zyrtec every single day. It's like a sinus medication. I've been taking prenatal vitamins. No, I'm not pregnant. These just have pretty much everything in them. I'll take both of these. It has all the vitamins. So... I've um, been taking those. And then I haven't actually done this Afrin yet, but it's supposed to help with the stuffy nose. This is my honey. It's kind of, I got to run it under hot water again. I don't know why it keeps doing that, but that is honey. And then I've been doing this tea. This is um, some things that my cousin brought to me. So I've been doing this tea with some honey in it. Um, and then there are some pills in here so those big orange pills are vitamin c and then that 
capsule pill is actually a, um, a probiotic, and there's some cough drops in there. I haven't done the cough drops either. Do y'all hear them? And I've just been taking these. This is what it all looks like together in my hand. And I've been using this wipe thermometer. And then Dustin and the kids have been using this. But we've still been cleaning them with alcohol pads after every use anyways. So, And this is also another thing I've been doing. You just mix it with warm water. And this helps a lot. So far, the most soothing things to me have been definitely the honey tea. The honey itself has just, I feel like, helped my throat feel so much better. Um, and then, uh, water. I, was, I couldn't think of the word. See, my brain is, like, all over the place. Also, another thing I've been doing to help with my throat pain that is also very, very helpful is this. This throat spray. And another thing, um, that can help y'all, that's helped me is, like, praying because I have anxiety very bad and I'm very fearful especially after what happened with Ryan Malcolm's dad he just passed away from COVID and, and double pneumonia so it really worries me and it, I don't know so I've just been praying a lot and so that's helped and then another tip that everyone's been giving me is to drink water stay hydrated Another thing people have told me to do is get plenty of rest, which is kind of hard when you've got four babies, which only three of them are here right now, but it's still hard. But also, I haven't been able to sleep good at night. I've been up like every hour at least. So maybe that's just part of the sickness. I don't know. And I hope I'm not overdoing it on the vitamins, and that's why I'm so nauseous. I hope that's not... I hope... I hope that's not what's going on here. Look, my brain is all over the place. I'm just going to continue trying to drink plenty of water, staying hydrated, and rest when I can. But that's pretty much the update for now. Um, pretty sure everyone's going to get Omicron because apparently it's very transmissible. Y'all can do your research on it. Um, apparently everyone's going to get it. So, today is day three with Omicron. Um, and I will give y'all an update either tomorrow or Friday to let y'all know how I'm doing. Please pray for me and my babies. Don't go in there, Chloe. No, she's fine. You can put that in the fridge. Anyways, um, what was I saying? What the heck? Update tomorrow, Friday. Um, just keep me and my family in y'all's prayers. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.